Hello, Yuri. This is Mr. Perez, and this is your Shogunate Japan Source Assessment Task Tutorial. In this video, we are going to review how to use the different websites provided on the assessment task. So, to get started, you need to access the document online, which should be you should be able to access it through your Google Classroom. So you'll scroll down here, Part A, Source Analysis. Memoirs of a Secret Empire. You'll click on the link and open it up. Now, this is the home page to this website. <clears throat> There's two main areas that will give you most of the information you need for this assessment task. Remember, our inquiry question is What were the roles and relationships of key social groups in Shogunate Japan? So the two tabs that will help us the most is Enter Edo and Travel to Kaido. The rest of the information you can look into and we'll look into it into this video. But first we will go to Enter Edo. Now, there's lots of things happening on the interface here. First and foremost, there's a welcome to the website and welcome to Edo. Have a read through this. It gives you some background information on what the area we're looking at in Japan, as well as the time period. Now, you are able to click on all these different pictures at the top. Each one represents a different social class, a different person. For example, here is an artisan, cook, courtesan. Daimyo, farmer, geisha, merchant, samurai, shogun, and a rider. Now, most of these are part of our social hierarchy uh, and our social group. So you would click on one. For example, I'll click on artisan. Now, this information, this is now information on the roles and responsibilities of an artisan. Read through the information thoroughly. Make sure you understand what it's telling you in their role and responsibility. Then, when you're ready and you believe this is the right source for you and it's useful to answer our inquiry question, you would simply hit print screen or Copy the entire document and paste it into your document that you're working in. Now, once your document's loaded up, you can paste it in. We'll just go simply text. Here we'll write artisan. Now you have your first text, your first source. Let's go back to the website and search some more. So let's look at the daimyo. If we remember, the daimyos were the lords of Japan. They the Shogun gave them power in turn for taxes and resources from their land. So you click on Daimyo. All right. And here we have, again, background information on their role and responsibility of the Daimyo and a bit more information on what they dress like. Here we have a picture of a Daimyo. And remember, you can either use the written source, or if you really wanted to, if you can find this picture useful in, how, in the role and responsibility, you may use the picture. Let's say, Ms. Perez, I think this picture is useful to tell me about the role and responsibility of Daimyo. You would simply copy the image, go back to your document, Daimyo. 
and paste the paste the image. There you go. So here we have two sources already. One, two. Let's continue looking at the website. Now you can click on all these different characters to read up on them and read their role and responsibility. Remember, when you are looking for information, you need to ensure that it is useful to answer your inquiry question. Now, the second tab where you can find information on roles of responsibility is travel to Kaido. It's just up here where you navigate through the website. Now again, it's the similar format to the previous page in Enter Edo. You have different people, different members of different social classes here. For instance, let's click on Samurai Woman. And again, it gives you the role of Samurai Woman and responsibilities. Again, if you think this is the correct source for you, you would copy and paste it into your document that you are working in. And copy and paste it into your area. Back to the website. This is the Memoirs of a Secret Empire website and how to navigate through it. Again, you can click on all these different characters. The rest of the, of the, of the website is a timeline which just gives important dates in, in the Middle Ages of Japan or from 1500s. And then the resources are if you want to dig in deeper into the resources. If you want to go further, they have a series of videos on Shogun Japan that you can watch and get information from. There are three different episodes. It'll take you about three hours to watch all three, but it would be worth it in the end if you watched them all. So that is the Japan Memoirs of a Secret Empire website. Let's go back now and look at the Met Museum. So a similar process, you'll click on the link, open it up in a new tab. But here, the website is a little bit different. It's not as user friendly, or you might think at the moment, as the Memoirs of a Secret Empire you actually now have to go in and do some research. So this website is all of the artifacts and info that this museum, the Metropolitan in New York, has collected over time. Now, in the search bar, all right, we have a couple of keywords here. If you wanted to learn about roles and responsibility, the roles and responsibilities, of Shogun of Japan, that's a bit of a very specific topic to look up straight away. So you might start off with a few of our keywords. You can type in the name of the particular uh, social class or the social rank, or you can look up uh, Shogun at Japan. You can look up the different uh, shogunate periods. For example, the Kamakura period, the Muromachi period, the, the Tokugawa uh, period. You can search all that stuff in the bar. I'm just going to go with the first one that comes into my head when I think about shogun in Japan and type in samurai. I'm going to search samurai. Now it'll load up 807 things pertaining to samurai. Now, we'll have to look through all the different sources. Keep in mind the dates. We have our particular time period that we are studying, which is 794 to 1867. 
So you want to make sure the date of the artwork or the artifact is within that time period. So here we have an actor as a samurai youth. Keep looking. Samurai admiring pine trees and plum blossoms. Okay, let's try clicking on this one. So here we have the image. You just keep scrolling down. It tells us the artist here, the time period about when it's from, from 799 to 1823. This is within our time period. It tells us the culture, what type of painting it is. And if you keep scrolling down, this is where the more information comes from. You can click on these different tabs here and they'll open up different things. The main ones here are probably our timeline of art history. So our timeline 1600 to 1800, all right, that's around our time period and so is the 1800s to the 1900s. Let's try clicking on this link and see where it takes us. 1600 to 1800. So timeline. So here we have a timeline and an overview of this time period. The Edo period, also known as the Tokugawa period, is a time of relative peace and stability following centuries of warfare and disruption. If we look and continue to read, these, right, these descriptions here gives us lots of great information that can lead us to different places. Here we see our, one of our keywords, daimyo, here we have samurai, and it's even given us a picture of the samurai. So lots of di different interesting uh, links that you can follow up. It even gives you a citation down below for when you have to cite your source number four in this area. So it gives you the basic information that you need. So here is this, if you look on the side over here as well, it also has different things you see also, all essays related to Japan between 1600 and 1800 AD. All these different links will lead you to different things. And this is the part that we need you guys to get good at is looking for information, not simply typing in a question into Google, but actually clicking into websites and following the different links where they take you. The next one we should probably look at, let's look at Samurai. Okay, we'll click on Samurai, and here we go. If you look on the website, they also have C works of art, of art. Here are some more images of Samurais that you could possibly click on. If we scroll down, the military elite of Japanese politics, economics, and social policies between the 12th and 19th centuries. All right, this is within our time period. This will probably give us a good breakdown of samurais and lot, give us lots of information on their role and responsibility. If you look to the right some more, you have all these different essays, great secondary sources that you can use for sources in your assessment task. So let's just say this first paragraph here gives me all the information that I need to talk about the roles and responsibilities. Again, I would copy, go back to my document, and I would just simply paste it in Samurai and paste it in there. And there we go. So now in the span of 15 minutes, I didn't really read them, but just quickly going through one, two, three, four sources that I found from these websites. Again, you need to make sure that you read and you understand what you are reading. This is part of understanding if your source is useful or not. I hope this video helps you. Rewatch it again if you need help on navigating through 
the different websites provided.